Oh, what are you doing, Leo? Oh, not much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like I'm worn out. I feel like sleeping. White people tend to cheat more than Mexicans. Why is that, Carol? Because white know, people Mexican. are fucking cocky. <laughs> Why <you> ask me? <laughs> well, let's put it this way: I'm not Mexican. You you should ask me if I'm white. This thing is bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm Mexican. So um, why is I, that? Really? Why don't we cheat more? Why Mexicans? I don't know. You know what? I know why Mexicans don't cheat because that's where I get my I don't care attitude from. Mexicans don't give a fuck about anything. I don't want to play the race card right now, but I am. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, <laughs> you always hear like like when there was no movies at the Oscars that were hired for uh, you know, from man. Yeah, okay, so there was that one year that there was like not one black actor that was nominated, and air the whole world was throwing a fit. Here's what's funny about that to me not only they're like, Well, it's because no black people get good roles. I'm like, That's a lie. I've seen a black guy in a tux a million times in a movie. When have you ever seen a Mexican that doesn't have a wife beater on in a movie that ain't pay- playing a gangster? I want to name, name one. Someone put that in the comments. I think you make a pr- pretty good point. Yeah. And and do you ever hear Mexicans getting all wild up? No, nah, we don't care. We're like, we're like, <laughs> Machete! Look at Machete, Holmes, Danny Trejo! We're all proud of them and shit. You know? I think we just don't care. I think we're always like, eh. Eh. That's where we are. Mm. That's who we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mine, mine over power? Yeah, you were going to talk about your why, why do we have less ability to access, but yet we don't? Who thought that was a good idea? That's almost like uh, giving somebody a whole bunch of power that they can't or not will, you know, not able to handle whatsoever. I think we were given it, but it's just our choice what we do with it. I mean, it's across the board. Because some people can tap into that. Some people so, can really. I, I think some very small percentage of people can. But for the most part, not even, it's just like a small, just a small, we're just using a very small part of our brain power. <laughs> Charlie's trying to access his saying, brain power. I, I was trying to think about it. He was looking up in that corner, you say. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it, these are just things that sort of enter my brain and I wonder, you know, why? Why? Why why put me on this earth to underperform? I don't so know. Badly? Maybe people feel like they um before they even get the chance to really believe in themselves, they already don't, maybe. And <laughs> I just think about that like this. Like when I was in high school, I never would have ever, ever considered being a surgeon or a doctor. I did not think that I was smart enough for that. Like I already told myself, like, you are not smart enough for that. Studies have debunked the myth that humans only use 10% of their brain. According to a survey from scientists in 2013, around 75% of Americans believe that we only use 10% of our brain. But this is just a myth, according to an interview with, I don't know, a whole bunch of doctors. So what's the new number? 11%? (laughs) Uh, And and how come we're not all just born smart? No, I think we are born smart. I think that, you know, maybe because then there's the things like ADHD that can, you know. But why are we born with that? They're smart, but they, they just have like. Is ADHD something you're born with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Why are we born like that? Well, oh, yeah, man, if we talk about it, that's that's a topic that I just, I don't. You, you can't even make a sentence right now. Why? Yeah, because that's a, that's a, that's a. Thing. How come we're born with that? I don't think that we're born with 
ADHD or ADD. I don't think we're born with it. I think that we're born and we have a personality and we act a certain way. And I think that people have, no. have seen somebody act different and been like, that's not normal. No, because you're and doing then, two things. You're doing two different things right now. You're trying to say when somebody, what you're trying to say is you don't think all hyper kids have it, but don't say it's not a real thing. It's definitely a real thing. You're trying to say that that's what you're tired of hearing people when there's an overhype kid for them to be try to say there's something wrong and i agree with well, you they categorize it as ADHD. but don't say that there's no such thing as that because it's so much more than just somebody being hyper yeah are we born can, with that lack things are in the we brain born with stuff. that are we born with that and if we are why are we born with that i don't i don't know i, I don't know if we're born with that or i don't know why are we born with, with a some or if so it born just like slowly happens with a degenerative disease why why are we born with all this brain power? Why? Haven't you ever asked why? I try not to think too much. Why? <laughs> I try not to think too much about things that I can't control. That's going to drive me absolutely nuts. Hmm. You don't even try. <laughs> How do you know that? You gave up before you started. I have in my life that I can't oh, control. Oh, dear God. We all do. It's just the chemicals in the brain. They really don't know why. Something the brain's changing and chemicals in it and stuff. But there's no like, the cause is unknown. But it's definitely a thing because it's genetic too, right? It can be. It doesn't mean it's like, like automatically. You know what I mean? If one person mean, has it, doesn't mean automatically. But it's just um, I don't know. I I can think someone, can someone with ADH? What, what do you call it? It's there's ADD the and there's ADHD. Can somebody like that be like a genius? Oh yeah, for I sure. Think that they, yeah, I think that they kind of are. Um, Bob Dylan, he's got the Nobel Prize, and he has what does he have? Is it is he dyslexic or? I no. think it's dyslexic. Is he? Yeah, he has something. No, something like that. So they actually use that and they overcome that obstacle. So they make that a benefit to them. Is that right? Would you say that's correct? Yeah. Why is it some people can take an obstacle like that and make it a benefit and others can't? Don't we all have the same brain power or same start? That's the will, though, because some people grow up being really poor and have a bad life. And that's what they see. That's their environment. That's their circle. So then they have it and then their children have it and then their children have it and then their children. There's some people that grow up. Tyler Perry is I love hearing his story. He has like one of the worst stories you hear growing up. And now he has the biggest movie studio. He has it bigger than Disney, bigger than Warner Brothers, everything. And I'm always like, good job, dude, overcoming but, all. But yeah, but but you're saying on one hand that people are a product of their environment. But it's the will. Okay. You know, some people use that like, well, this is what I have and they just do it. Or some people are like, this is what I have, but I'm not, I'm not, this ain't all I'm going to have. And they have the will to like push themselves. It's you probably know? a good thing. And we're not all the same that way. Mm -hmm. Carrie, you want to end this on a lighter note? How so? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad note. No. No. How about you, Charlie? How do you want to end this? Is there anything you want to talk about, Charlie? Is there anything that you want to talk about, Charlie? That wasn't an echo. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what shows are you watching, guys? Is anyone watching anything good? Soccer. Soccer? Is that a show? <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch soccer? The, Euro the European Championships are playing right now. Mm. The show that I'm watching is um, I'm watching... Uh, French crime drama. Do you watch a lot of foreign shows? No. No? Does your wife? Or mm, just all I'm... American shows? Wait, wait, wait. Porn versus American. I, I didn't foreign. Get... Foreign. Oh, foreign. <laughs> uh, no, we... Uh, Do you my... watch a lot of porn? No. <laughs> Where's my mind? Porn. <laughs> Uh, no, we uh, we generally watch shows that are uh, just American shows, but as of late, we're watching this. We got in a crime drama, and we've been like the Italian uh, crime drama, and now we're into French crime drama. It's pretty interesting. So we're 
we're watching shows that have the subtitles. It's a whole different way to watch TV, man. I tell you what, and it forces you actually to use your. I mean, you got to stay engaged more when you're mm-hmm. watching a show that's uh, subtitles. But the feel of the American crime drama, for example, versus like Italian and French, much different. So Did you ever of, watch Breaking Bad? A little bit. I wasn't really that. I didn't like it that much. I could see you watching it and then getting inspired and starting a big old meth lab. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> that I wasn't that. Uh, I watched. I tried to watch it because I heard a lot about it. People are really raving about it. I don't know for some reason it wasn't my thing. Everybody tries to say that's the best TV show ever made. Period. I think it was good, but I, I wouldn't say all that. Did you ever watch that care? Breaking Bad. You didn't watch yeah. Breaking Bad. Mm-mm. Oh my god. What are you watching, Kara? Mm, right now I'm watching Once Upon a Time. Kara, that show's been over for like 10 years. I Come on, re- give me I'm, something. I'm re-watching it. I re-watched stuff, so I'm re-watching that, and then I split it between How I Met Your Mother, which I'm re-watching those, and then I split that between like, I don't know, Grey's Anatomy hasn't been for a while, but that's another one I do our friends. Why do you guys do that to it. yourself? Why do girls do that? Do what? Watch Grey's Anatomy, cause do have you ever heard about that show, Leo? Because Mr. McDreamy is just uh, yeah, I've heard about it, but I haven't watched it. I anytime I go into a house where a girl's watching that show, my mom watches it. My sister, any girl though in the world, they're just dying, crying, dying, crying, like the ugly girl cry. You know what I'm talking? Oh. And I'm like, why are you guys? Why, why are you guys doing I, this? I don't cry. On What's that the premise of the show? show? I've never heard one person in my whole life say they don't cry. Even guys watching that show. What's that goes to what? say so much about no. your heart. Uh, maybe, but. <laughs> <laughs> there Ooh, is, good job, Charlie. I think you might be referring. I don't know what, because I know I. What is the, there's certain things that happen on that show that, yes, they get you emotional, but that's because you get so attached to a character. That Leo, when it's that about character a died, hospital. So all these characters are sad. coming in dying every, no, every episode. Oh. I highly doubt anybody's crying over the people that come in and die. What, what we're probably crying about is the fact that within that show, a lot of the main characters that you grow with and you absolutely love, they die. So it's like you lose somebody that you like love. And so I could see that because there's a few seasons that it was pretty freaking intense. But um, other than that, no, nobody's crying over the freaking patients dying or stuff like that. It's most likely- There's something something wrong with you, dude. I watched this movie on Netflix yesterday called Fatherhood. We have Kevin Hart. I stopped watching his movies because Kevin Hart's always Kevin Hart. No matter what movies in, it doesn't I matter. I want to see that one. This is a new one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On Netflix, you guys yeah. should watch it. I watched it. And one, he wasn't Kevin Hart. He was actually acting. Two, I almost cried like 48 times watching this movie. Like every five minutes, I was like, and I and then I could see Dylan looking at me at the corner like, you're going to cry, <laughs> huh, dad? And I was like, I'm trying hard not to. That's a good movie. You guys should watch it. It was really good. Okay, I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna tell you how many times I almost cried. You're gonna say I almost cried kind of, kind <laughs> of once. I'm gonna be like, Dude. I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't. You'll say there's a but sad part. That was it's probably really tender to your heart. I right. think this will be tender to your heart too. Oh. I Maybe. think there's a lot more than just being a father. There's about being a single parent, about there's a lot. I think it's that really was good. why I wanted to watch it because I did see that and I was like, I do want to watch that. Do you know what it's about? Mm-mm. Tell him because I just saw like a trailer and I'm pretty sure you'll explain it better. What's it about? Um, a father has to bring up his baby girl as a single dad. And there's more, but I don't want to read more because I'd rather you guys just go. I'd rather you go into it not knowing anything. Yeah. I yeah. went into one movie in my life not knowing nothing. It was it was I'll always put it in my top 10 because I was like it, it was a Seth Rogen movie. It was this is the end. You've seen that, right? Karen? Oh, yes. I didn't know nothing about it. Nothing. No. <laughs> so I just thought I was like Seth Rogen. Uh, I just thought it was going to be a comedy. I went in and my mind was fucking blown. blown. Was yeah. it drama? It, no, it was a comedy, yeah, but it was like comedy. an action comedy. It was just it different than one. I imagined. Yeah. It was so different than I it's imagined. It's a different. It's. I think that that's just a different movie, period. It is. But it for is. For that to be the one that you went into not knowing anything about yeah, it. Yeah, not one trailer, not one, nothing, yeah. not a poster, nothing. I can't imagine. That would have been. But bad. yeah, you guys should watch Fatherhood tonight. I don't think they make movies as good as they did back when. 
No, you're crazy. I think that you, you, I think that I understand what you're trying to say because there are some really good movies that my dad showed me that like they will live on forever. I mean, maybe it's just because of my age. I don't know, but I think like the movies back then, like uh, I'm trying to think of a few of them now Legends of the Fall. Did you ever see that? Nope. That movie I watched probably 10 times. Uh, Al Pacino movies. There were some fantastic actors back then. I don't think they're like that anymore. I don't know. Oh, you're, you're crazy. Legends of the Fall in 94? That's not that old. I'm surprised. No, that's, that's one that just came to, to mind. The one with Brad Pitt? Yep. That was an awesome... Uh, oh, I have to check it out. I love 90 movies. I'm all yeah, about it. Awesome movie. Which one was that one with Al, Al Pacino? Scarface? Scarface, Marathon Man. These were epic fucking movies. The one with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dustin Hoffman, when he was that... Um, Slower? He, no, he was that really he had a like whatever condition that he had, but he was really smart. They took him to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Slower. That's I, I meant he was slower. Oh yeah, yeah, he was slower. Yeah, those were great movies, man. Fuck, like, what was that movie called? That was a good movie. The one you're talking about. Yeah, was it was it Marathon Man? Was it? Uh, I don't think it was a Marathon Man. No, Marathon Man. He no, it wasn't that one. Rain Man. Rain Man. That's it right there. Was it Rain Man? Yeah, that was a good, good movie. Those are good movies. Yeah. You know, I think those are really, and I think that uh, maybe even the actors that were acting even past, you know, earlier on, I think they were more, I don't know, it seemed like they were more, uh, the women were more glamorous back back when. I don't know, it just changed, I guess. It's just I good. keep on telling you, you need to watch a Christopher Nolan movie. There's no one better, period. There's no one better in the game. Ever have been, and there never, won't be. Never heard of him. He made Inception, Interstellar. Um, everything he touches is like, it's yeah, crazy. You've watched him? You know who you he is? You haven't seen Interstellar? No. Oof. Yeah, that's a good one. It sounds like it's too... Or Interception? Is that with... Uh, Leonardo? Yeah. Have you seen that one? Yeah, fuck that. Wait, wait, wait. That wait, was too wait. weird. Oh, couldn't so you have up. seen it? I have. I couldn't keep up. Okay, see that that one. That one is my favorites. The that one's that you can't keep up with that you don't get. Those are the ones I like. That's bullshit. Or you have every to time really I watch, watch it. Interstellar. That's not entertaining. Nah, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't man. want to figure shit out. I love it. It makes you think. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be entertained, not to figure shit out. I like deep movies. Fuck that. I'm like, in a, like in a movie, I'm, then you're asking your whoever you're with hey what does it mean by that and then they're on to another scene and you're buying that on that scene well, too i'm not asking anybody that i'm with what well it's i about. do because I, I don't like i don't up. like to be fucking <laughs> lost in a movie i remember when i went and saw interstellar i went to the movie theaters with some you got to see it in a theater oh man i'm so jealous and I went with i went with three friends and we got back in the car and every single one as soon as the door shut it was like I did not get that. And I was like, what? Yeah, you guys did not get that? And I had to explain it. We went to Fresno, like fun. the really big one in Fresno. So we were driving back for an hour. So for an hour, yeah. For an hour, I was trying to explain it to them so that they could understand it. And then their minds were blown at the end. It was like, oh, I get it. So it's a fantasy. It's not real. Um, it's fake. Leo, don't start with that shit, man. <laughs> well, is it true or not? Is it based on reality or is it just, uh, it's just like. It can be in the future. It can be, yeah. So it's phony. <laughs> it's just a different world that our crops started dying, so they're trying to figure out shit to do. That could oh. easily happen, you know. It could be. It could be the world kind of ending in the future. Yes, it could be. You know, fifty years from now, yeah. hundred years from now, it could be. That could be our lives. I guess anything's possible. Plausible. You meant to say possible. No, plausible. <laughs> do you like scary movies? No. What movies um, do you like? I know, right? Me? Yeah. The Green oh. Mile. Oh, that's that was a, a good, good one. Yeah, that, was good. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that one. Forrest the God, Gump. The God, good one. Yeah, Godfathers. Those Godfathers. Movies, those are good. Okay, so what so are, so is that what what genre is that? Action, drama. So you like action, drama? And drama. Oh yeah. Okay, but it isn't Interstellar or Interception that phony. Oh, oh, did you? What about this? Did you like Total Recall? uh it's okay dude i fucking i watch that movie like once a month still to this day from childhood to now i fucking love that movie yeah it was okay it was entertaining I but that it. one's very far you haven't seen it right kara total recall 
Arnold Schwarzenegger? 92-ish? Yes. yes, I have. You have seen it? Yeah. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> Wasn't a big thing for her, Charlie. I know. She was like, mm. it's okay. You watched all of it? Um. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. No, I don't think so. With that, like, mm, yeah, I think. No, you'd remember this movie. <sighs> Forget it. It's a good. It's a, it was a good movie. <laughs> All right. Hey, what are you guys doing on this Friday weekend coming up? What's your big plans? Got any plans? I have lots of big plans. What are you actually doing? They're so crazy. They're like the biggest plans ever. I'm going to go jump out of an airplane tomorrow. And then the next day, I am going to Vegas for the whole day. Wow. Looks like you're still living in La La Land. <laughs> How about you, Charlie? What are you doing? Is none of that true? No. Hell no. <laughs> um, Although I think... you, you sold it. I would yeah. do it. That's because I would do it. That, if you guys asked me, that's <laughs> why I thought. I was like, maybe, done. maybe midlife crisis. Um, midlife crisis. Well, you're it's not right. a midlife crisis to go jump out hey, of an hey, airplane. Hey, easy, easy. Calm down. I know. Leo, would you go jump out of an airplane with me? Fuck no. What? Uh -uh. Not now. I would have like ten years ago, fifteen years ago. Not now. I'm not. There's a part of me that thinks that would be fun, but there's a bigger part that I'm like, I die. Nah. <laughs> Nah. What are you doing, Charlie? I think I'm going to make a guitar lessons video so I can start selling. Oh. That sounds like a pretty major project. Yeah, that's why I said maybe. <laughs> 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 I'm already thinking of all the work that has to go into it, and I'm like, maybe. We'll see. Oh, what are you doing, Leo? Oh, not much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Leo. What are you doing? I'm really glad you guys are really fucking engaged. My... <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not talking to you guys anymore. That's it. <laughs> Done. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. You, questions. you guys are such caring you humans. Lead. You Fuck lead the you. pack. <laughs> Leo, what are you no, doing? No, I'm not going to talk you know to you what? anymore. I'm done. You know what? No. You want to know why Shut I didn't Shut my ask... mic off. No, stop. You want to know why I didn't <laughs> Shut my, my mic fucking off. mask off. <laughs> you know why? Shut my mic off. You know why I didn't I'm ask? A, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask, but I already know. Oh, that's a good answer. I do, Leo. I already know. <laughs> I already know what you're doing this weekend. What? You, you really want me to tell you? No, I said what because I don't. <laughs> what? So you're going to watch a movie tonight. At home, naked, naked, with your food that Tina's gonna make you, <laughs> naked. And tomorrow you're going to go to the gym and you're gonna do your gym thing and then you're gonna leave around noon and you're gonna go home and you're gonna start watching TV and you're gonna eat a lot of food and a lot of food and you're just gonna have the food in front of you and you're gonna keep eating food. You might go to the pool naked, you might lay out naked. <laughs> I'm I'm going to Vegas to jump out of an airplane. Stop it. And then you're going to, you know, Sunday you're going to wake up and you're going to do it all over again. And you're going to eat more food and you're going to eat all that bread that you just bought. And you're going to eat more strawberries. Repetition is a mother of skill. Leo, did I not just you say your whole nailed weekend? it. <laughs> That's why, because I know but exactly I, what you're going to do. But it's just kind of like with the wife saying, but you didn't act like you liked it. <laughs> you know, you didn't, you didn't bother to say anything until I met made a comment and then you said something and i and fuck you you're not going to any uh game for your granddaughter are you no no because you would have told me i would have known so i know you're not doing <laughs> no my life is pretty mundane now i don't know what charlie's excuse was <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't care <laughs> fuck you guys it's all right because i'm gonna keep coming back <laughs> i'm just like a bitch i'm gonna keep coming back I'm and like then a you're disease. gonna come back 14 pounds heavier on I'm Monday. Come back? And, no, I'm actually dining. Uh, I'm dining for the event. <laughs> okay, you're gonna come back seven I'm pounds heavier. Di seven pounds. I'm dining right now. Seven for pounds event. heavier? No, no, not no, now. No, you're not coming back heavier no. at all. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> it's Monday, it's and you're clueless. getting it's over by Wednesday. I'm dining right now. So, how heavy are you coming back on Monday? I really want to know this. Two pounds. Two pounds oh, heavier. Oh, wow. 
that's impressive for you. Shit. So you're not eating as much as no, you No, I'm dieting for a show. Okay, that's okay. That's, I'm getting ready for well, a that's big, something right there. Big event. So my life is like really happening right now. <laughs> Real exciting. Uh, Charlie, my boring, you got your aunt, your nonverbal communication sucks. <laughs> you got your arms crossed, you're leaning back, you're about ready to go to sleep. This is how uncomfortable. You always think this means I don't want to talk. This means I'm Your eyes are like half shut. No, my I have little eyes. Don't be a bully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm done. Are you done talking to us? I'm done. Ta- I'm, I'm done. Done, done. Mm-hmm. All righty. All right. Okay. And what are we? Are we? What are we? What are we? We out. We out. All right.